Did you have any pressure to get some sort of like assisted marriage or maybe just marriage in general when you were growing up or maybe, maybe now? I don't know. I don't know what your personal It's situation. still ongoing. My uncle, my uncle's still trying. I saw him literally two days ago and, he, and it, it's, it's an ongoing conversation and I'm telling him, just, just leave it to me. Just leave it to me. It's, he's still trying. Yeah. Well, maybe this film, like maybe that changed some of your thoughts. Maybe, maybe give it a shot. Well, I said that it's been immortalized on screen now. So now it's happened on screen. He can tell everyone else that I am married. It's it's, it's already in the movie. So it's fine. It's basically done. So we that's, don't have to do it. That's true. That, that is canon. <laughs> This is David Stark from Watcher Pass. Today I'm talking to Shazad Latif, the star of What's Love Got to Do With It, which is coming to American theaters on May 5th, 2023. I'm going to talk to him right now. And while you're watching, if you can like and subscribe to this channel, that would be fantastic. I'll shout a lot. Thank you. So thanks so much for joining me. This is Shazad Latif, the star of What's Love Got to Do With It, which is coming to theaters on May 5th, 2023. It is a fun rom-com that deals with a, I guess, difficult or, you know, not that common subject matter with both care and comedy, and it kind of touches on that intersection between modern life and tradition. I really love your character. I love the film. I'm really excited to talk to you. So thanks so much for joining me. Thank you. Appreciate it. Of course. So the first question is, like, how did you get involved in this film? How did you, uh, you know, get this role? Um, audition came about, and I read the script, and then I went in, and I saw Jemima Khan standing there, and I was like, this is a big deal, because my mom used to keep a scrapbook of Jemima. Um, because uh, she was one of the few you know white women who'd been to Pakistan and and it was just a very strange experience because I had to tell her in the audition and then Shaker was there who obviously is one of the greatest filmmakers around so I wanted to work with him and it just all sort of fell into place and then obviously Lily James got on board and she's one of my best friends and it just I was like well this is one of those movies I have to do. That that sounds perfect yeah I was actually going to ask because I know that you and Lily James had had uh, some film in the past but I wasn't sure when this filming happened in like terms of your friendship. So I was, yeah, your, your on-screen chemistry was great. So it sounds like your past uh, experience with her really helped with that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we'd done a job just before the pursuit of love, but we never really had many scenes to do in that. But um, yeah, and I've known her for like 15 years. So it kind of just was perfect. And um, yeah, really helped going to work with, with a friend. <clears throat> A friend that you kind of maybe fall in love with? Like, who knows? Who knows yeah. what happens in the film? <laughs> yeah. yeah. She seems like a, like a good friend to fall in love with if, if you're going to fall in love with any friends. She's the best. She's the best. She's the best. And also, I mean, you got to work with uh, Emma Thompson as well, which must have been a lot of fun. Like, her character was just so out there and so crazy. I had, like, a lot to the overall, like, comedic aspects of the romantic comedy. I mean, I've been watching Emma since I was, you know, since I was born. She's one of the, you know, the greatest, the greatest actors we have. So yeah, to get to talk to her about movies she's done, you know, I was asking about Remains of the Day. I was annoying her. I was like, what was Remains of the Day like? What was in the name of the father like? You know, I was, a, I was just being that annoying actor guy. But um, yeah, it was unbelievable. And she's just to watch her work. And, and she's been like a mentor and, um, and you can learn a lot from watching someone like that. That's awesome that you got to like, I don't know, fanboy out on the, on the movie set that you were starting Always. in. So. Always, I'm a movie geek, so I always, I, yeah, it's annoying. I just bide my time and I just choose the right moment. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and so I kind of, I guess I associate you more with like drama. Maybe that's because that's the films that I'd seen you in before. This is more of a romantic comedy. Some of your past work has been like more comedic. Uh, you know, did you prepare for this role any differently from any of your other roles? Or was it like a nice change to go into something a little bit more comedic? Uh, what was that like? It's never, I suppose it's always the same kind of preparation as long as you've got to stick to the truth, really. So it's, so whatever you sort of end up creating happens. But um, yeah, there's no different approach in that, in that sense, I don't think. But also for me, I started from the place of what, what is the truth of this guy? And it's actually quite a serious thing. And it's, mm -hmm. it's not that funny. And his sister's been outcast from the family. And, you know, he's a dutiful son and he's trying to please his family. It's quite, it's, this guy's in quite a stressful place, even though he seems on the surface he's trying to hold everything together. So, and then sort of the comedy comes from that because everyone else around him is, you know, that's the way that I felt it was working. And it was, you know, almost a straight guy. And, and yeah, so, but it was a serious, from a serious core. So once you have that serious core, then you can let everything come around that. It kind of works. For sure, for sure. And um, I just talked to Shekhar and he said that this film kind of started out more as a comedy and then became more dramatic, I guess, as the filming happened. So, you know, what was that process like? Was that, you know, you kind of bringing that out like your your serious kind of uh the serious kind of subject matter in this film or was it just kind of organic as the film was being made the dramatic scenes just kind of like hit better i feel like me and shaker were always talking about that from from before and we'd have big chats and long chats and he's very philosophical and deep and 
you know, he was hanging out in the Himalayas while we were rehearsing and zooming, and he was talking <laughs> to Deepak, Ch- Deepak Chopra, and like, so it was always quite, uh, you know, and I and we were both talking about it being a family drama, you know, and so for me that was always there, and if I was playing the truth, and then, you know, it, it, everything else just happens as the film goes on, I suppose, yeah, and and then they then you leave it to the editors, and then whatever is created is created, yeah. And I don't, I don't really know your background fully, but I know you're you're born in Britain and um, you grew up there. I really loved kind of the scenes where you were explaining to Zoe like the difference between being British and being British born. Did that like have any special significance? Because that that was really like one of the first major dramatic scenes that like really kind of struck me. So I was I was curious like if that had a special significance. It felt like you know it, it kind of could have come from a personal place. Yeah, I mean, I think it definitely does. Yeah, I'm I'm. I'm you know, mixed race, half half English, uh, half English Scottish, and half Pakistani, and and you know, growing up in London, multicultural place, but there's always that, there's always that feeling of, of, of feeling like an outsider in some way, and it's, but even within your own family, maybe, and uh, with both sides, you know, my Asian family always call me the white boy, you know, which is <laughs> with, with a smile on their face, and you know, it's uh, yeah, so he's a uh, person who's traversing two worlds, which is always an interesting, which I'll, I've always felt that in in some way, and. So hopefully, yeah, I can try and get that across. Yeah, it kind of you're, you're kind of perfect for this role, which does also try to kind of traverse two worlds, like the you know traditional assisted marriage type of world and like a more modern dating. And and where did that where that like where that kind of melds and where that kind of like conflicts? I really love the uh, overall theme in this film. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that was the thing we're trying to get across is that there's no one way, and it's just a struggle to try and do any anything. <laughs> <laughs> Life is a struggle. That is a theme yeah. of a lot of movies, and this one specifically. Yeah. Um, I also love that they like, you know, I guess you didn't get to travel to to Lahore, you didn't get to like film on location, but they kind of brought that to London. Like, what was that like? You know, seeing this you know, modern playground almost uh, recreated in London. Yeah, I mean, that was you know down to production designer who's just unbelievable, and then um, you know, there's a lot of. Uh, Mini Pakistan's in London as well. There's a big, big community there, but also we did a lot of second unit stuff, which uh, with great directors out there. So it was just a movie magic, you know. No, that's I, I kind of thought that it was filmed on location, and I was impressed to reading the press notes that this was all just like movie magic, a great set. Uh, it must have been just a blast to kind of be almost like being in like Disneyland, I guess, for a day. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, you don't get to try the proper curry, but actually, the caterers are great. So yeah. I was going to say, I bet Britain has like some really good uh, curry because like you said, it's a melting pot. There's probably some really good curry locations there. Yeah, they had a, they had a good chef. Every time there was like uh, Pakistani food on sale, I had about 16 bowls. So I was, I got, I put, put on a bit of weight during the movie. You were just getting into character. That was you just method acting. You know, you had to like exactly. really invest. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you for your, for your art. <laughs> Uh, so I know we have limited time, so I'm going to switch. I call it the lightning round. They're just lightweight questions about the film. I want to see how your personal experiences map to things in the film. You can feel free not to answer any of them. I will not be offended, but I try to keep them very answerable. <clears throat> the uh, first question is, have you ever been set up on a date? Um, I don't think I have. I don't think no. I've ever been set up on a date. Mm, no, that's weird. Yeah, no, no, I haven't. All right, friends and family, let's go. Let's uh, let's let's, uh, let's get this process moving. <laughs> um, did you have any pressure to get some sort of like assisted marriage, or maybe just marriage in general when you were growing up, or maybe, maybe now? I don't know. I don't know what your personal. It's still is. ongoing. My uncle, my uncle's still trying. I saw him literally two days ago, and he and it, it's it's an ongoing conversation. And I'm telling him, just just leave it to me. Just leave it to me. It's he's still trying. Yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe this film, like maybe that changed some of your thoughts. Maybe, maybe give it a shot. <laughs> well, I said that it's been immortalized on screen now, so now it's happened on screen. He can tell everyone else that I am married. It's 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 already in the movie, so it's fine. It's basically done. So we that's, don't have to do. That's true. That that is canon. <laughs> um, have you ever used a dating app? No. No. All right. No. No setup. No dating app. You're just old school, I guess. Old school. Uh, I love that your character and Zoe had this like special hangout place in the film, this like treehouse. Uh, did you have anything like that growing up? Any like special location, like a kids club or something where you would go to hang out and think? Uh, yeah, I grew up in a little council estate, so we didn't have a garden space. I had a little balcony, but um, no, it was a youth center. There was a youth center at our school, which we would go to literally our, every school, every day after school, play basketball, make some toast, you know, uh, play football. That that was our that was our little spot. Um, yeah, you know. When you're 14 years old kissing behind the school playground that kind of thing it was that was the thing that was that that was the place it's it's just like that treehouse it's perfect 
But unfortunately, it looked like it was a brutalist architecture. It looked a bit like Shawshank Redemption, so it wasn't as romantic as a uh, setting. <laughs> well, it, you know, it still, it still helped you to grow. Um, yeah. And the last question is, when was the last time you heard the song, What's Love Got to Do With It? Uh, literally about two days ago, I think it was a, a little cab ride and they were playing it and I was ended up humming it. And I was like, wait, what? Yeah. It's very strange uh, hearing that. But also, I, then I ended up just watching the the the, 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 the movie with Lawrence Fishburne. Oh, wow. It's all serendipity. It's all coming together. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, so thank you so much for joining me. This is uh, Shazad Latif, the star of What's Love Got to Do With It. It's coming to American Theaters on May 5th, 2023. It is a wonderful film. It's funny. It has heart. It's got drama. And a lot of that is thanks to your character. So thank you so, so much for joining me. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. It was Shazad Latif talking about What's Love Got to Do With It, which is coming to American Theaters on May 5th, 2023. It is a fun romantic comedy that touches on a delicate subject with both care and comedy, and it deals with that intersection between tradition and the modern world. It's definitely a movie I enjoyed, and part of that was Shazad's great character in this film. If you liked this interview, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. Make sure all my new content goes straight to you. Thank you. Thank you.